What's going on guys? I'm Ben from Ben I Saw Guy here. How are you guys doing today? And what I'm going to be showing you guys today is a video tutorial on how to put custom ringtones on your iOS device. Now, the requirements for this, first of all, the method I'm going to be using is using the voice memo application that came directly on my iPhone. Now, please note, you're going to need the voice memo application itself. It'll depend on which device you have it, or I believe it's on all of them. I'm not sure, except for the first generation products. And you're going to need iTunes for this. So if you guys are looking for a method that is not involved with iTunes, this isn't the video for you. You might as well just click out of, of it. So what I'm going to be doing right here is I'm going to be using the voice memo application on the iPhone 3G. So the voice memo application is basically an application where you can like record what you're hearing right now, like you can record your surroundings or something. You can record people talking or record a conversation. We're going to be using this method to record a custom ringtone. Now, before we start, you'll have to like get a sound somewhere. In this case, I'm going to be using the speakers that are plugged into my computer. And what I'm going to do is play a song and then let it last for 30 seconds. After that, I am going to hit the record button. Now, look at this voice member application right here. So you have like this red meter right here, right? You want to make sure it stays out of the red range because when it's in the red range, then you're going to be hearing your static in the voice recording that you're going to be using. And if you want high quality sound ringtones, you have to make sure you are using a device with a high quality microphone or a high quality speaker, you know, with great audio fidelity. In this case, I'm going to be using my JBL speakers that I used to use on my old monitor with my e-machine and those work perfectly fine. And the fact that I'm going to be using the iPhone's microphone itself to record, which is actually, let me zoom out of here, which is actually on the right side of the device, then it should be fine. All right, so you can kind of see my setup right here. You can see my lamp here actually, which is actually, you kind of get a behind of the scenes anyway so I have the GameCube right here and I'm just gonna set my iPhone on top of it and then I'm gonna keep an eye on the meter when the sound is playing through the speaker right here Jex make sure you pick a part of the song that you are using that you want on your custom ringtone okay so I finished recording my voice memo now what I'm gonna do is actually connect this to my computer so that way I can sync it with iTunes and then I can get the voice memo out from there now please know if you don't want to sync it you guys feel like it takes too long you can email the sound to your email address and then you can take the file and drag it to your computer from there so let's get on to the computer right, All right now. right guys so you are seeing my computer desktop and my iPhone right now so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna connect the cable right here to my iPhone like so and then my computer should detect it So as you can see, my iPhone is connected to iTunes right now. Just going to let it sync. And then you will have like a playlist right here for your voice memos. Now, once you are done transferring your voice memo to your iTunes library, I have my voice memo right here. What I'm going to do is actually click and drag that out. And I'm just going to place that on my desktop for now. Okay. Now, you see this file format right here, M4A. We want to change that to M4R so that way that can be recognized in the iPhone and then it will sync it into your Tones tab. Now, if you guys don't see your file extension right here, this is what you're going to do if you're on Windows. So you're going to go into the Start menu right here. You're going to go to Control Panel. You're going to go to Appearance and Personalization as well as Folder Options. And then you got this little tiny window right here. You're going to click on View and see where it says Hide Extensions for known file types, you're going to make sure that is unchecked. I already have it unchecked, but if it's checked off, you're going to uncheck it, hit apply, and then OK. And then you can just right click, click on rename, and we're going to change M4A to M4R. And we're going to hit enter. If you want, if you change a file name extension, blah, 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 hit yes, OK. Now what we're going to do is actually open up our iTunes tab right here and make sure you put it in the tones tab now if you don't have this tones tab here's what you're gonna do so you're gonna go into let me see here you're gonna go into edit preferences 
and then see where it says general and then make sure you have tones checked off right here this is in order to get some hidden toolbars that you don't get uh, with iTunes and you don't have it okay so now what I'm gonna do is drag this back in okay and now it is in there and you have to make sure your ringtone is 30 seconds long now before I let it sing here I'm just gonna change some stuff right here you don't have to do this I'm just doing this right now because I mean why not I'm here so I might as well do it right okay and then what I'm gonna do is sync that to my iPhone so I'm gonna click sync okay so the voice memo is synced now so what I'm actually gonna do is go into my settings here so we're gonna go into settings You're going to hit general, or excuse me, sounds, ringtone, and there is my ringtone right here. This is the ringtone that I edited in iTunes and then, or renamed I guess you should say. Alright, the cable's going crazy here. And that's how you make your own custom ringtone using the voice memo application. So if you guys found this video helpful, please click the like button down below. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys haven't yet to get more tutorials like this. And for more updates, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Ben I And I will see you guys in the next video. You have a good day now.